Well, hey folks, it's Shani with Nostalgic Out, and here is Lulu. She is making her presentation on the YouTube channel, Miss Lulu. The minute I start touching these plastic bags, though, she'll probably freak out. She has a weird thing with plastic bags. So, anyway, I, last week, I have been on call for seven days, and so, I've had little time to thrift. However, I did squeeze some time in. So I have some goodies I'm gonna show you. And I hope that you like it. I have, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna lie. These are mostly vintage items. I, for some reason, I'm striking out in the clothes, but I'm finding some, some other items. So anyway, that's the way it goes. I thrift everything. If you're new here, I thrift clothing. I love thrifting vintage items. And I am a part-time reseller on eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, and Etsy. And lately, Facebook Marketplace again. So stick around, check my haul out, and please like, subscribe, and comment to help my channel. And let's get into it. So. Springfield, Missouri. Um, I live by Branson, Missouri, and I was up in Springfield, Missouri the other day, and I went to a red rack. And if you have a red rack, man, ours are getting pricey. I don't know about you guys's, but it's getting a little ridiculous. <laughs> I say that, but I'm looking to buy and flip. So, um, I don't know. Things are getting a little bit pricey. So, I. I, and I didn't have the time. I always get way overwhelmed in that store and I don't know why. I think with the clothing, cause it's so much that I just, you could be in there for hours. And so with the way they mark things up, I don't want to dedicate that amount of time in that store when I can go to other thrift stores and find quicker, faster, better items that I make more money on. I don't know. So Anyway, I was at the Red Rock. I got a, I got just a few items I'm going to show you. Quit that. You quit that. You're on video. You're on video. Okay, so the first item I have is a vintage needlepoint Christmas beer. Is that not the cutest? Now, the back is like a um, velvety velour and it, it does zip so you can clean it but i just thought that was too cute and since it is in season i went ahead and picked it up for 6.99 and just imagine the amount of work it took someone to put into that that's just crazy to me so i picked that up the second is a pillow as well i cannot believe she's not moving and it is a little, I, I consider it an Easter pillow. And it, I kind of wonder if it's from the same person because they both happen to be there at the same time. So it is a needle point as well. The back, it's the same. It's kind of got this velour um, zipper. So you can take it off and wash it if you need to. But is that not sweet? Um, this one is $4.99. That was my cost. I got three items there. This is just kind of a vintage wooden um, trinket dish and it's very smooth. I just think, I thought it was so pretty. There's maybe just a couple surface marks and the lid comes off really easy. I do pretty well selling handcrafted wooden items or driftwood. If you find pieces of driftwood, people buy driftwood for like their aquariums and things. So anyway, I, I just picked this up. I thought it was very pretty. Um, if you happen to know if it had a certain purpose, let me know. I just think it's a cute little pretty vintage trinket and I paid $6.99. So I paid a little bit up for it just because it is handcrafted and wood. So my last item I got there, there was this big bag of vintage 
patches. And I started looking at them and most of them are like bowling, old bowling patches. And I'm gonna show you, I've kind of started separating some of them and posting. Oh, the majority of them are on my kitchen table spread out because I've made piles for matching patches. Kind of like the this Bonanza one, which this isn't bowling. If you remember the old Bonanza Western or Bonanza restaurants, this is what that is from, I believe, is the old Bonanza um, restaurants. So I had just 31 of these, just 31. They are unused old vintage. So anyway, I posted them the other day. I paid $12.99 for the entire bag. So I've started posting them randomly. I posted the Bonanza ones yesterday. I sold four of them today. Um, and I sold them for $4 a piece. Um, I've also, here's some old vintage um, bowling Congress members stickers. And um, like there's some more stickers. These I posted separately. Um, but anyway, I sold these stickers also today for $3.25. Um, and then the other one I have posted is just this name tag star. I thought it was pretty rad. And then there's an old label, um, sticker label. Stop it. You stop. There's an old sticker label star as well. So I posted them separate. Some other ones that... I have, like, I have a ton of these. They're just old bowling. This is the 92nd one from 95 in Reno, a bowling tournament. And then I think these are from, like, the old big boy. Um, so, yeah, these are definitely vintage. I thought they were cool. Just some examples. I probably have a hundred more um, patches on my kitchen table. So I'm just kind of starting to go through them, but I got the whole bag on a whim. I did not run comps or anything and I paid $12.99. So just selling what I've sold. I'm almost probably cutting even after fees and everything. It's just a lot of work kind of, but it's easy work also. So just post a little bit here and there. So anyway, that's, that's the one store. And then, oh, I have two more stores, right? Yes, so two more stores. So the other day I stopped at a local thrift store and I just got a cut, like a few um, vintage items. And the first one is this pretty basket. And look at this, you guys. Look at that, isn't that pretty? Just some light, this, I think I can wash some of this off, but some light condition issues. And it definitely, the um, bottom needs cleaned out, but look how pretty that is. And I only paid $3. I have one of these with um, flowers on it that remind me of my grandma. So anyway, I love this basket, it's so pretty. And if I decide not to post it on eBay, then I'll probably just put it in my booth. But anyway, I, I'm thinking I'll look up comps on eBay and see what it's running for, but I gotta kind of clean it up. But $3, not, I didn't feel like that's too bad. And then they had these, and I am going to, these are two little stools, aren't they the sweetest? And what someone did is they tried to um, staple, they just stapled it. So I'm going to right now take, if I can, take some of the staples off because my goal is to maybe um, just see what the finish was like and just kind of polish them up. They're amazing like plant stands or any kind of stand you want. I just think they're amazing. So while I'm doing this, let's do it. I paid $3 a piece for these. I thought that was a good deal. I already have my butter knife ready to go. 
I'm getting staples everywhere. That is okay. Because I do not want the cover that is on this right now. It's like kind of like a thicker carpety fabric. I'm gonna have to pick up staples and that's okay. I want, please say a little prayer right now that <laughs> this actually looks pretty and the people were crazy and just covered it. Please, please, please. I don't want it like painted like a little kid. Um, I just want the wood. That's all I want. Are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? Okay, so just a little, just seeing a little bit of, like there's a little chip there. Okay, I can work with this, you guys. I can refinish this. Isn't, wouldn't this be so pretty refinished other than this ugly cat hair? I don't, I don't know. It looks like it's got dog or cat hair on it. Um, now they had it extra thick, kind of like cushiony, but my goal was, I just want the wood. I feel like that would make really pretty plant stands. And so I'm going to do the other one after the video, but I'm, I like this because it's pretty much already scratched up to where I can just lightly sand it and it's good to go for stain. So I'm happy with it and I'm super happy. So and I probably will resell them. I just don't know. Um, I don't know about selling them online. So they might end up just going to my booth. Or I might end up using them a while, like for craft fairs and stuff, for stacking stuff. Um, so anyway, I'm super happy with that purchase. I was kind of worried when I bought those. But I'm like, you know what? For $3 a piece, I might as well. So today, I got off work this morning. And Lulu and I ran to the thrift store and so i'm going to show you what i got today it's getting a little bit dark out so i hope it's not too dark for you guys um so i'm soup i am unwrapping this with you so one of the things i love to do is i love to create and like upcycle old vintage pieces into crafts and i also sell them so one of the things I buy is vintage like holiday crafting items or decor that I can put into my crafted items. So I have some vintage Easter ornaments. And so I've kind of had my mind open to try and like think while I'm there is I need, I need some kind of something to put like a tree, like an Easter tree that I can put the ornaments on. And so I found it today. I paid $2 for it. I think it'll be just amazing to create a little Easter um, decor piece with. And so that is why I bought this for. It's just kind of, you know, a modern little um, kind of ceramic piece, but it's very pretty and it looks kind of Easter, Easter-y. So, that's what I got that for. So I paid $2 for that. I found the coolest vintage tape dispenser and it is um, an elephant. And it kind of reminds you of like an onyx. Um, it's heavy like onyx. I almost said ivory, but <laughs> it's not ivory. <laughs> that would be cool if it was, but um, just because it's so pretty, but no, I do. There's a reason why that you cannot sell ivory and it, it's, it's horrible. Um, so anyway, yes. Isn't that the cutest little vintage tape dispenser? It just needs kind of cleaned out. And I paid $2 for this. I got a vintage tobacco stand. Here's the tobacco jar, it has the lid on it. So your tobacco goes in here and then your pipes 
all go in here. Isn't that cool? It's, it's dirty. It definitely needs cleaned. Um, I, it was funny. I asked this, this little old man was back kind of looking and I had asked him about something else. I said, do you know what this was used for? And he said, I sure don't. And then I picked up this. He goes, I know what that's used for. I said, I do too. So these, um, they could do pretty good online. Um, I don't know, you know, it's pretty heavy, so shipping would cost a bit. So I'm definitely, um, sometimes when I buy things, I automatically think it's going to the booth if it's too much for online. So my initial thought was booth, but I'm going to look up comps and possibly post this for sale. So there's that. I love mud pie dishes. I don't know if you're familiar with them. They're kind of like boutique-y. You find them in boutiques and they all have these little words on them. And a lot of them come with silverware too. So this says it's a pita hummus gets a bad rap. And then hummus for some of us. Yeah, hummus for some of us. So, and it's, this is the, um, mud pie that is the label so anyway i mud pie it does sell on ebay but sometimes you do better with just selling them um like in flea market booths or something like that but this bowl in the boutique was probably anywhere from 18 to 26 dollars i would guess new maybe more but um i would think in the 20s so it's just cute there are collectors out there for these pieces i only paid two dollars for this so i didn't think that was bad i have a vintage bowl and when the lady was checking me out she goes that's only marked a dollar i said yes it is a beautiful beautiful there is like hardly any crazing. There's a little bit of fading to the gold rim. It just needs a good washing, but look at that detail. Isn't that gorgeous? And the back is covered. It was only a dollar guys. Back is covered. So I cannot tell. I just, I looked, I saw that it was amazing and I just grabbed it cause I could see it was only for a dollar. It might be a Homer Laughlin. It might. It almost has a look like it is. Oh, no, I don't think it is. Taylor Smith. Yes, it's a Taylor Smith piece. I don't know if you can kind of see that. I got it as much off as I can without soaking it. Beautiful. I only paid a buck for that. Isn't that gorgeous? All right, to my second bag, I got a cute set of vintage owl wall decor. And I mean, my name is the vintage owl. And so I love owls, I love vintage. And so um, look at those, aren't they gorgeous? They're just dusty, but they're so pretty. And I only paid $1 each and they're ready to hang. I just think they're gorgeous. So someone's gonna want them. And then I got a vintage jewelry box. It's kind of a handcrafted. I loved this. Isn't that gorgeous? I paid $5 and this slides out. It's in great condition. And it actually says made in Japan. So it's just, I thought it was gorgeous. And I, the minute I saw it was only $5, I picked it up so it was I loved it um, I got these vintage little drums for you know Christmas decorating um, I used this kind of stuff in the crafts I was talking about so I got this bag for a dollar so that is for my crafting I got mr. and mrs. Santa Claus for one dollar 
They're little, just little vintage ceramic pieces that someone hand painted. They were 50 cents a piece. I was like, okay, those are coming home with me. And then I have this huge box. I'm gonna have to scoot over towards me. I'm trying to make this video quick. I like it when it's quicker and you guys don't have such a long video to watch probably keeps people's attention better. <laughs> so it looks like a big box, but I promise what's in the bottom of it is taking up a lot of room. So let's see what we got. Some little lady must have donated all of her little vintage knickknacks. So I am gonna unwrap them and then show you them. And I just think they're amazing. Truthfully, I think they're amazing. Okay, so I think that those were the four I grabbed. There were some others, but I kept, I left them for someone else. So here's a little um, like Yorkie or Schnau, is it a Schnauzer? I think it's a Schnauzer actually, yeah. It says Japan. So it's definitely vintage. So 50 cents for that I paid. And then a little like beagle. Looks like a beagle to me actually. Look at that. Is that not cute? Now he is not marked, but you can just tell he's vintage. Um, yeah, you can just tell he's old and vintage. I thought he was adorable though. And then here's some little like Frenchies. Isn't that cute? 50 cents I paid for these. And then I finally found my Panther, you guys. <laughs> so I have been on the lookout. It's on my bucket list to find one of the bigger Panthers, like the black ones and those are bolos. If you ever find one for good money, buy it because it will resell. So anyway, I just had to get this because I'm like, I got my Panther finally. Um, I'm calling it a Panther anyway. But anyway, this one, they kind of painted like a bluish gray, but it's just a mini one. Um, no cracks. You can just tell it's old. Um, Anyway, I, I was laughing at myself because I'm like, I got one. I got one. Um, really, the only reason I bought this piece um, is this vintage deer on the top. I paid a dollar for this little arrangement. So the deer came with it and I wanted the deer for my crafting. So I bought it. I got this little vintage snowman for my crafting. I think I paid like a quarter or 50 cents for it. And then I just thought this ornament was really pretty. It's, I can't really tell. It's not, it's heavy, but it's not super heavy like mercury glass. And so I don't know, I'm gonna look it up, see if I can find anything like it, but I only paid a dollar for it and I just thought it was pretty. It almost has, it almost has a vintage look to the top but it definitely, to me, looks like a recreated model. So um, anyway, if that looks familiar to you, let me know. I only paid a dollar, so it's a really pretty piece. And then I thought this was cool. I actually paid up a little bit for it. It is an ornament, but it is a mini um, handcrafted wooden um, birdhouse ornament. Is that not the cutest thing ever? Someone like made that. So I paid $2 for that. I just thought it was amazing. Um, I really hit their Christmas. This is like the time to hit the Christmas um, because they're just trying to get it all out. This is just a vintage chair I'm gonna use in my crafting. I paid 50 cents for that. And then this I paid $2 for, and I am gonna put him in my crafts as well, but isn't this the cutest little polar bear? He's got a scarf on, isn't that cute? 
I just think it's, it's darling. So anyway, and he's actually pretty heavy. Maybe I should look him up. He might be something. I don't know. Um, I do craft fairs and stuff. So I, I'm always looking for like little, like clipboards and stuff. Like I can write like prices on. So that is why I got that. I did pay a buck for that probably too much, but it was there and available. So I grabbed it. This, I think I'm maybe going to use for crafting. I don't know, but it is a deer, a reindeer with a scarf and then his hair. Do you see the bird in the bird nest? Is that not a hoop? <laughs> I was like, that is silly, but I want it. So, um, anyway, I think I'm going to hang on to it in case I can craft with it somehow. Um, and then I got these vintage, like, um, like ornament. What do you call these? Like beads? It's almost like, um, it's to go around the tree. <laughs> What's it called, you guys? Um, <laughs> I cannot think of the word. Um, anyway, you know what I mean. It's like little beads with little snowflakes, pearlescent, to go around the tree. Instead of using, like, the tinsel, you can use this. So, I got that for my crafting as well. I love the vintage. I, I use vintage. And then I had an ornament holder and I was like, Shannon, why did you sell that? Because I post ornaments on eBay sometimes. If they have good comps, I'll post them. I have some up now and I, I found this really pretty metal one and I ended up selling it in the booth and it sold really fast because it was coming on to Christmas season almost. So I found this one today for 50 cents. It is glass. And so I'm just gonna wash it up and I think I'm gonna hang on to this. And then whenever I have something like an ornament that I wanna post for sale, I'm gonna use this in my backdrop to showcase that ornament. So anyway, some ideas for you guys. If you're a reseller, um, this is something you probably want if, if you sell goods and holiday items. I was like, man, I've posted some ornaments and I wish I would have had my holder, but I sold it. So anyway, and then the last, yep. My last items I have is a set of margarita blown glass. It's the pitcher and the margarita glasses. And so I probably don't want to ship this. So it'll probably go in my booth. Um, I do not know the brand. I just think it's amazing. Look at that. I have a set of five of these glasses. They're really heavy, um, blue. They're just, just hand blown glass. I just think it's beautiful. Um, and I paid $8 for the set, $8 for the entire set. No chips, no cracks. I was like, watch me, watch me chip it and crack it now. So that is all I have for you guys today. I tried to keep this a short video and thanks for coming along. Like and subscribe and um, I will catch you next time.